We need more cowbell! Man, I tell you what, I love day cabs in all configurations. And when I got out of the military, I cut my teeth on a T800 setback axle. And this is a 389 short hood. The 388s are a thing of the past. Yeah, we built this for a great client right here in Colorado Springs. Congratulations, Timberline Landscaping. It's heading out, getting its wrap tomorrow. And it's going to be all dressed up and pretty, but I thought maybe since it was dusk, I would go ahead and do this truck. So, uh, 235 wheelbase. I want to talk to you guys about engines too. Tier 2 emissions has arrived. And I was notified by Cummins, and this is going to be with any company. Uh, whether it's Detroit, Cummins, Packard, you name it, any engine manufacturer, Volvo. Um, we are not going to be able to uprate trucks anymore. I'll get into that here in a minute, but real quick, we did do a drop visor on this one. A couple extra cab lights. We do have some breather lights and some uh, cab lights coming. So this one has a 14.6 front axle. A lot of people ask me, how come you don't lube the hood with hinges? Because we like creaky doors. That's why. Five sixty five X fifteen Cummins. Eighteen fifty torque on this one. It's gonna be doing an in dump application. So this truck, for example, since it was born a five sixty five eighteen fifty torque truck, it will in 2021 when we're starting installing engines after the first of the year per my regulations that's what we are only allowed to do it we won't be able to take an engine like this and upgrade it to a 605 or take change any of the parameters of the engine um, with the exception of like jake brake and speed and everything else so um, a lot of the common ones that we we do anyhow so just wanted to let you all know about that uh, that's that's just part of our world now Unfortunately, now I would imagine that there's possibly going to be some aftermarket guys that can still do some tuning on your engines. And maybe recommend that after warranty is up. So we did turn signals on the mirrors. Put a three bell train horn in right there. You can dress this one up a little bit. Now again, since it's short hood, it's going to ha have a dummy stack. It steps here. And again, one of the hard things that I have when I'm building a truck is I, I like to keep the def tank forward. The problem is, is I can't put steps on this side unless it's within 18 inches of the back of the cab. So if I put a def tank here and scoot the fuel tank back, it won't let me put steps on there. We have to buy them aftermarket, which is outrageously expensive. And so that's one of the challenges I have when I build a truck for you. Um, Iconic Metal Gear has become a really great vendor. Um, I've typically ran Merit over the years. But Chris and Owen up at Iconic out of Canada, man, they built some good stuff. This is a wide mouth box. This one's a 22 inch. And it fits in there real nice. And as you can see, the whole step opens up. So you have plenty of space in there. And then my guy James in my shop, just because the def tank came out just a little bit weird, we went ahead and put a step over here. Uh, it's structural and it turned out really nice as well. So this truck is going to be pulling an end dump. And so we did the no tilt convertible fifth wheel. And then I want to show you this iconic headache rack because there's some things that they do that a lot of guys don't. They put the strobes right up above the top of the cab which is nice with the jailhouse window 
and this one we put a 70 gallon tank in here and you can get these full polished they have ones with roll-up doors they got some really really nice stuff so we sell iconic we're a national dealer for them now uh, ben porterfield out in our chrome country can get these for you any local parts can get these for you but if you buy a day cab for me we're going to start stocking some stuff like this locally here's one of the other things that i like about iconic that the other box manufacturers won't do is they will not do a one that opens from the outside in and like one of the competitors to these guys will say that they can't do it without it leaking well Iconic can do them without leaking. And so this one is the chain holder side. And you can put additional boxes below if you need to. You can just add them. Iconic has stuff in stock that we can get depending on what size you have. Again, they're, they're just really great. I think they're working on some deck plating, which I'm really excited about. So. Owen, Chris, and the guys up there in Canada, get that done. I want to do some custom trucks with that on there. On this side, has all your adjustable shelving. And these things are solid, man. The doors are just very rigid. They close firmly and tight. You got to push it on them pretty good. And then we did some strobes up top. We just set them just high enough to clear the cap. So that turned out pretty cool as well. And we have our jumper posts. And then our friends up in Denver for Emco, they did our PTO system on this truck. And you can see. And then we went ahead and ran the deck plate all the way back as far as we could to the fifth wheel. So, nice little space. Might have to add a little more uh, deck plating over on this side at some point, but I think that would kind of complete the truck a little bit more. This one's running Yokohama, 24 tall rubber. And then we just went ahead and went with the minimizer half fenders which was installed by our body shop up in Denver, along with the visor. These guys are really good at doing fenders. Forty-six thousand pound rear suspension, I believe. Or forty, no, I'm sorry, forty. Fourteen six front, forty rears. Now this one is the extended cab. So you have your 10 inch extension off the back. Again, it's flat, so it's all the way flat. And I'll show you once I get inside the truck if there's enough light. Miter tip, 36 inch tips. And then we went with the Donaldson filters on this one, not the new style. This one came in at 18.5 on the scale. And I did a short video a little while back on this truck about the automated transmission. I will put a link on here so that you can see it. Turn on some lights in here. loaded up the B panel as, far, as much as we could with gauges. We've got 12 full gauges in here. Put some dump switches, spare rocker, PTO, diff lockers. Everything is all here. Of 
course we have sit back here when you get the extended cab you get another seven and a half inches of head space so you can almost stand up in the seat and then this is the premier interior which is the middle middle grade interior so you get the extra space up top with the webbing and went with the better speakers you get the extra reading lights um, the wood grain bezels in the side now you can still do the wood grain in the dash if you will I'm a little bit more of an advocate of not doing that because there's so many awesome kits that you can buy for these things probably do it cheaper than what you could do the wood grain from, from stock and then when you look in the back there's your 10 inch extension you have a full 10 inches of space that's flat floor unlike our competitors they don't offer that it's a little bit of an upgrade cost but man I think it's well worth it I would have died to have this truck when I was driving a lot more leg space the floor is flat compared to a Kenworth so you have more leg space if you're tall like me and Again, just to quickly touch on, on this shifter. So this is a, uh, not an automatic transmission, it is an automated transmission. And so as you can see here, you have all your normal drive gears like you would in a stand, like an automatic transmission, but you also have a manual mode and then you have a low mode. But this button right here, I call it the magic button, and driving this back and forth between Denver and Colorado Springs, it came in super handy. And, you know, these transmissions can predict grade and sense load. And they can adjust accordingly while you're rolling up and down the highway. But the nice part is, is you can still have a lot of input. And so, for example, you know, I was rolling down the highway the other day and I saw brake lights ahead of me. I had my Jake on. He was able to just click down a gear or two. And it'll down, do the downshifting for you and kick the Jake on, which is nice. And you can pay attention to what you're doing. Um, there's some other features in here and as you can see I get a lot of questions but there is no clutch pedal in this truck and so when you're driving the truck for example if you want there's a couple different settings you can put on here but basically when you when you start pushing down on the on the pedal and you let off of the parking brake it'll hold for three seconds and then once you just barely apply a little bit of pressure to the gas pedal it's going to start clutching the truck just as you would. Now there's another feature that you can put on there it's called um, urge to move and it's more like an Allison transmission where you let off the brake and it's gonna go ahead and go on its own and start clutching right as soon as you let off the brake. That's a really nice feature if you're backing under trailers, backing into docks. Um, a lot of guys who've been frustrated with this transmission uh, that's one of the complaints is they got to try to manage that clutch with the gas pedal while they're trying to back up which is kind of a pain and with this truck you don't necessarily need to do that we just change one of the parameters in there and it'll it'll creep on its own and then you just manage it with the brake and so it takes away um, a little bit of the thought process on using the clutching mechanism and then one of the other questions I get about these automated transmissions is uh, will it hold on a hill? So the way this one is currently set up is it will hold for three seconds and then it will roll backwards. So once you once the light turns green and you want to get off the brake and start going forward, you have three seconds unless you have the urge to move feature going, in which case it's already going to go on its own. But if you don't want that and you want to go ahead and kind of clutch the truck with the um, with the gas pedal then it's going to give you three seconds to start activating the clutch by simply pushing the gas pedal so i hope that gives you guys a little bit more insight on how that works um it's becoming more and more popular like i said in my other video i have a lot of people who you know have injuries from accidents war wounds you name it and they want to stay in a truck a little bit longer and this is um you know i don't knock people who like this transmission because it does keep, give them an opportunity to have a veteran senior driver stay with us a little bit longer and um, you know have some experience out on the road. So if you have questions about this, guys, or you want a truck like this, 
I'm getting ready to build a, a custom flat top with some of these features in there. I think it's going to come out pretty cool. Um, give me a call. Again, my number is 970-518-5520. I sure appreciate you. And uh, give me a call. And we'll talk soon. Stay safe, everybody.